Today we're going to be talking about line plot word problems. Here's our standard for our fraction unit, it's the same. And here's our learning goal for this lesson. I can use a visual model to answer word problems involving fractions. All right, let's take a look at this problem together. Uh, the chart to the right shows the heights of the starting players for the FSU's basketball team. Use the data to answer the question below. First, let's take a look at our table, which is over here to the right. Um, before we answer any questions, we need to make sure that we have a common denominator. I can already see that we have 2, 3, 6, 6, 3. So we need to figure out a common denominator for those three numbers. So let's go ahead and figure out multiples for 2, 3, and 6 in hopes of finding one that they have in common. Again, we're just going to list maybe 4 or 5 to see if we can find one uh, sooner rather than later that they have in common. My multiples of 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's move on to 3. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Let's look at 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we haven't found a number that they have in common. I see 6 in all three of them, actually, right there. So let's turn these denominators into 6 so that we can easily answer any questions they ask about them. All right, our first one is 6 and 1 half, 1 over 2. Let's think about how we can turn that 2 into a 6. We can look back at our multiples, 1, 2, 3. It was our third one, so we know that we're going to multiply 2 times 3. Um, but again, whatever we do to the bottom, we know we have to do to the top. So we keep our whole number the same. So we have 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So we have a new fraction of 6 and 3 6. Let's look at the second one. We have 5 and 2 thirds. So we need to go back and look at our multiples. What times 3 gives me 6? 1, 2. So let's do, we're going to multiply our denominator and our numerator both by 2. Our whole number, of course, stays the same. Let's bring it over. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So now we have 5 and 4, 6. Let's look at 3. Lucky for us, um, it already has a denominator of 6, so it can stay the same. And let's look at 4. Already has a denominator of 6. It gets to stay the same. Oh, but let's look at player number 5. 5 and 1 third. So we need to, again, make that 3 turn into a 6. 3 times what gives me 6? That's 2. So whatever I do to the bottom, though, I must do to the top. Don't forget about your whole number. He needs to come over. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. All right, let's double check. Make sure we have all the same denominator. We have 6 and 3, 6. We have 5 and 4, 6. We have 6 and 4, 6. 6 and 2, 6. And now 5 and 2, 6. Awesome. Let's take a look at what the question asks us. It says players 3 and 4 have a combined height that is 2 feet short of an average sized banana plant. How tall is the average banana plant? Before we can figure out what the banana plant's height is, we first have to combine 3 and 4 so we can add 2 feet to it in order to figure out what the banana plant's height is. Let's look at players 3 and 4. We have a height of 6 and 4, 6, and a height of 6 and 2, 6. We need to combine them. 6 and 4, 6 plus 6 and 2, 6. I always like to add my whole numbers first so I don't forget about them. 6 plus 6 we know is 12. Okay, we did that part. Now we need to add 4, 6, and 2, 6. Remember that when we're adding and subtracting fractions, our denominator stays the same. So we can go ahead and bring that 6 over in our denominator and then add 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 we know is 6. We now have 12 with 6 over 6. We also know that when we have the same number on the top and the bottom, that equals to one whole. So we're now able to add one more to our whole, making it 13. All right, we have 
that players three and four have a combined height of 13 feet. Let's go back and figure out what it's asking us in the problem, though. Okay, players three and four have a combined height it's, that is two feet short of an average size banana plant. How tall is the average size banana plant? If this height is two feet shorter than the average size banana plant, we need to add two to figure out that an average size banana plant is 15 feet tall. We're going to figure out a different question using the same information and same chart. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the um, converted fractions that we came up with before so we don't have so we can see it easily. Remember that this became 6 and 3 6. This became 5 and 4 6. This got to stay the same, stay the same, and this became 5 and 2 6. Remember that we needed those to have common denominators for us to easily answer any question they asked us. All right, what is the difference in the height of the tallest and shortest player? This is important. We really need to look at our whole numbers first as well as our fractions this time. Let's take a look. We know that 5 feet is shorter than 6 feet, so one of those has to be our shortest player. We need to look at our common denominator fractions that we came up with. 5 and 2 6, 5 and 4 6. We know that 4 is a bigger number, so we're going to stick with 5 and 2 6 as being our shortest player. Because with this common denominator, all we have to do is look at the numerator, which really helps us. Now let's figure out who our tallest player is. We know it has to be someone in the 6 foot range. We already did the 5 feet players. We have 6 and 3, 6, 6 and 4, 6, 6 and 2, 6. Since we all have the same whole number and denominator, we need to look at the numerator. We have 2, we have 4, whoops, that was the 5 player. We have 2, we have 4 here, and we have 3. Between 2, 3, and 4, we need to figure out what is the biggest. We know that 4 is. Let's bring that over, 6 and 4, 6. We have our height of the tallest player right here. We have our height of the shortest player right here. And we want to know the difference, which means that we're going to subtract to see how much taller the tallest player is from the shortest player. I like to start always with the whole numbers. 6 minus 5 we know is 1. Remember that when we're adding and subtracting fractions, our denominator stays the same, so we can go ahead and bring that 6 over. And then we're left with 4 minus 2, which we know is 2. So the difference between the tallest player and the shortest player is 1 and 2, 6. You're going to try to answer this question about a swim team. Please make sure you're using the chart and you remember to find a common denominator. You will also answer this question based on the same data and information that you find and come up with. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.